Hello and welcome back to Stone Blocks 2. My name is Stuart, Night MC, and this is Joshua. Bingo Head Josh. Hello. He's been sniffing those funny seeds again. He's had all over the place then. Right then. What I want to do is I want to show you, I want to show you how to make water. All right. So this thing here will make water, which is a birch crucible. There's all different types. We just had the birch wood, so we did it. And this is how you make it. So you put your logs down each side, with a half stab at the bottom, all of the same type. Um, if you wanted to make your crucible, which does your lava, you have to use porcelain. And to make porcelain, as illustrated here, you get a piece of clay, a piece of bone meal, gives you one porcelain. Now when you make this, it will say on it, and it does on here, um, unfired crucible. So once you've made it out of your porcelain, you need to stick it in your kiln and cook it. So it turns into this, a crucible. Now then what you do is, if you get yourself your saplings, sorry about the uh, copper stone for a minute. If you get yourself the saplings and you start placing it in here, you should see it turn into water. So you fill this up with your saplings, so you can't put in no more, and it'll make your water for you. And as everybody knows in Minecraft, do that four times, so you get four buckets out of it, you can make your own water source. So you've already got to do this four times. If you use a um, crucible here, and you want to make lava, what you do is, which I forgot to do, which is put the candle underneath. Oh, well, I can do that. Yeah, if you don't mind putting a candle on me there, please. Just shoot my candle. There you go. That's it. There we go. So you put a torch underneath there, which requires the heat. And then you get your cobblestone, and you just place your cobblestone in. And it will melt your cobblestone down, turning it into, into lava. Now, when you get your first bucket of lava, take that torch out, put lava in there. And then redo the process again. That is how you get your lava. There is an automated way of doing this, which I'll show you later on. Probably not in this episode, because we've got quite a lot to get through. But this is all early game stuff. This is how we started to get our water and started to get our lava and progress on from there. Now, if you need to make this steel ingot, there, you can do it the electronic way, but this is the most easiest and basic way. First of all, you need to, need to make yourself some unhardened stone. And by doing that, you need two pieces of clay, one piece of iron, four pieces of cobblestone, and two pieces of sand. That will give you your unhardened stone. Again, just like the crucible, you're going to have to put that into a, uh, a furnace and cook it up. And then you want to put it down with three pieces of string and two, piece, two uh, sticks. I'll give you this stone hammer now this stone hammer lasts for quite a long time so if you put your stone hammer with six pieces of either coal or charcoal you can't mix and match them it's got to be six of the same type with two pieces of iron it'll turn it into your steel ingot for you that's the easiest and cheapest way to do it at the beginning of the game obviously as you start to progress and you get electricity and you can do all these uh, gearing cob, cob gears You'll be able to make um, an electrical one which will do it all for you but for the beginning of the game we found this is the easiest way to do it for us right on to our second one this one over here making which water the easy way now inside oh, yeah. here you get these ancient spores when you start um, sieving and you sieve through different types of mesh you've got the um, string uh, flint iron and uh, diamond you'll get ancient spores come through i can't remember which one it was but you get ancient spores now i didn't know what these were so i just stuck them to one side but what they actually do is they turn your dirt into mycelium grass now Leave this here in time, 
and it will take yeah stop the sarcasm you yeah. so <laughs> in, in time this will infect this whole area now to make rich water it's quite simple it's quite easy I'll show you the easiest and simple way rather than showing you the automated way which I was going to do because this is all beginning of the game stuff so what you do is get your barrel and stick it on your witch water. Do you mean you stick it on the mausoleum? Well, stick it on the mausoleum. If you put water in here and water in here, you will slowly see it's starting to transform. So and you can see it's starting to get darker. Eventually this will almost end up like a purple colour and that will be your witch water and that is one of your tasks. One of the things you have to do on your quest is to make some witch water. This is the easiest way to do it. I've actually got an automated way of doing it, which I'll show later on, um, because we make soul sand out of this. And all you do is you add sand to this, and it gives you a soul sand block. We don't know why, but we just thought, well, there's obviously a, a reason why you can make soul sand out of this. So we'll make stacks of it, just like we, have, we will do with that machine over there that makes obsidian. So this is how you make your ritual tree. It's taken a long pro long time, so what we'll do is we'll go and do the next one, and then we'll come back to here. And I keep filling myself up with all this stuff. Yeah. Right, what I wanted to do here is a pulverizer and a furnace. People who have played this game before will know what the pulverizer and the furnace does. Furnace, cook stuff, the pulverizer will take your ores and will crush it. Now you do need power for this. The easiest, when you get up to the um, ore dimension, you have a lot of ores. Now, if you put it through this, you'll put one ore in and you'll get one ore out. If you put it in this first, you'll get one ore will go in. It will crush it into two dust, uh, two dust. Put it into here, and you'll get two ingots out of it. So you're doubling the amount you get. And this is quite easy to set up. And before you used to have to have a hop here to input this. You don't anymore. So if you go into this setup here, you've got auto input. Enable it. And it will pull anything you stick in that chest. It will put it straight through to this straight away. Then what you want to do is you want to turn this top one off. Turn this to blue. Because this will pull in what's to the left of it. This is to the right of it. If you change this to, so it's got nothing on it, and this one to nothing on it, anything that drops into here will be transferred across to the next machine or the next chest. In this case, it's this little fella here, and he'll cook it. So you do the same again. Don't need to do auto input on that. I'm going to do it anyway, but I don't think you have to. I think it will go from, from machine to machine. So this needs to be blue. This needs to be red. No, don't need to be orange. And these can be turned off. Unless you've got another way of setting it up and you want it going out to various other directions, you just want it going from there to here, then from here to there, then from there to there. And this is the easiest way to do it. The easiest and simplest way. It doubles your ores. So if you've got 64 iron ore and you put it in here, you'll end up with 128 by the time it goes through these two machines. Saves you a lot of money. Thank you. Mm, that's good. Now we move on to these chests. Now a normal chest is quite small. As you can see when I click on these things, they are huge. Uh, all the double chests I had in our room in there have all been changed to these because you can fit so much more in it and you lose so little room. Another little tip I like to show you, when you do your quests, you sometimes get these fellas here. These, place it down. These cobblestone generators. Now, this one, every second, it will produce one cobblestone. And if you click it, and this one doesn't want to work, why doesn't this one want to work? I guess it does. Because yeah, I already, already had cobblestone in here. <laughs> <laughs> so it does one every second. If you don't want to keep coming back here, because it will store 64, then it will stop making any more. But if you want a constant supply of it, because you want to be, which will bring us on to our next bit, using the sieves, 
then what you want to do is if you get a chest stick it on top it will automatically without having to set anything up start sticking it in here and look how many uh, look how much you can fit in here before it gets full so much more in a double chest so we've got three of these on the go with three of these on top working to their heart's content and to make these um, simple chests it's, it's quite easy you have four chests and four pieces of uh, wood this uh, wood casing is made easily again it's one log four lots of planks and four sticks and that's it they're so cheap to make but they're so so they're, they'll sort out your sorting problems they really will because you can fit so much in them right now we come across to our these are our auto sieves i've shown you how to use the normal sieves these are auto sieves so you can set it up so that it will put or you can put stacks and stacks and stacks or you can put a stack of um, uh, cobblestone or dirt or gravel um, sand and, and dust block in these and it will sieve the whole stack for you you can actually set it up to automate it so you just continually keep doing it and the reason I've done it this way is when I place them on top here the hoppers will automatically empty them out and if you put two of these bad boys down here you'll be you can just keep sticking stack up on stacking if you stick a hopper on top with one of these on top of that you can feed it as well in fact i think you can't do it on top no you can do it on top and you'll feed it and you'll just keep filling that chest up and you'll just keep piling it through for you now it makes life easy yeah there is two types of sieve there's a normal sieve which will do your normal individual um uh, sand and dirt and that and then you've got the compressed one which is the heavy duty one this one here auto heavy sieve so where you get nine pieces of your sand and you compact it together and make one compact sand but it contains nine sand inside it and i think you can do that four times well these bad boys will go through them one at a time you haven't got to stand there keep punching 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 breaking 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 all the time sieve 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 these things will do them automatically so fire them in and um give them some power and away they go so to make the you'll need to make one of these uh, first of all for the um which is just like a normal sieve and then you have to put it in here with four pieces of glass two iron blocks and two iron ingots and it'll make you the auto sieve now just to save time i'll just knock that up for there put that on there and you'll see a little man inside now when you place your stuff inside there his arm will start swinging round and round and round and round in circles it's comical to watch we've got a stack of these going up which will be another video i'll show you another time so you literally you click on it put your mesh in this bottom one here put whatever it is you're putting up there whether your gravel your sand your dirt your dust and this fella here will swing his arm away until every single one is broken stop feeding him that's why you got green up him if you feed him his arm spins <laughs> even faster it's crazy and if you wanted to make a um, heavy duty one you have to make the heavy duty sieve as well it doesn't have to be birch we just have quite a lot of birch we've made everything birch and then it's the same process again put your four glass down and this is where your hammer comes in handy if you remember at the very very beginning i showed you over there how to make that hammer with the, with the um charcoal and the iron to give you your steel well that is what this is for to make your steel blocks and your steel ingots and this will give you this bad boy here and this one does the compacted ones so when you've got when you, when you've got fed up of keep feeding him 64 64 64 you can then start compacting it and he will do even more and his arm swings around as well so it's Damn. really it's really really good yeah, I've got two chests in here so if you imagine having two of these chests with the, all this room sitting up here with hoppers feeding into these at the back and then these two guys working their magic don't forget you've got a power as well working their magic I think you have to power these. You know, I can't remember if you do. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, have to you power do. These. They need um, power. Yeah. 
and then they'll start firing it through into here you could just stick whatever you've done in these top chests and let this thing work away go away do something else and come back to it it's brilliant now this thing here this is an automated um, device that I've seen someone make and I decided that I wanted to do the same it does look a little bit difficult but it's not hard at all all the parts you'll need for this and bearing in mind that a lot of this stuff is going to be quite easy to get even these are easy to make these are incredibly easy to make so you know how to make your crucible up there is your I don't know why I put it up there because I'm going up there to see it um, is your um, clay and your bone meal to make your porcelain and then you know how to put your porcelain like that and when that's made you've got to stick it through your furnace this here is amazing six half slabs two pieces of glass one redstone makes you 64 of these pipes wow game changer or what excuse me please Holy sugars excuse me please I'm just Thank looking you. at. I've never actually seen these pipes and holy sugar. That's yeah, do you do you get a lot? Really, normally, and then the IO, you do something like that, you get one. On there, you get 64. Um, this thing here, this is a. I um, don't know why it says keeps saying it right, but, uh, It's a transfer. Um, this was a, a transfer node. These are both transfer nodes. This one does items. This one does fluids. This one's to put the cobblestone from my cobblestone maker. I'm going to put down into my crucibles which will then turn it into lava and then to get the lava out from there into a steel drum that's at the end over there will be there in a minute you're going to need this one here and these aren't all that bad either really you've got a trap chest so one trap chest two pieces of stone two red stone and one transfer pipe will make you four of these the same with this one here instead of um having that one yeah instead of having a trap chest items this one you put a bucket and this does four of the fluid ones so again it's, it's not like you're going to have to do hours and hours of mining and go and find ores it's all pretty much stuff you can get your hands on straight away this here i thought i'd just show this one this is a um crescent hammer you can use this to when you use these pipes if it connects to something you don't have to connect to that's the device you'd use to so just click it and it'll just it'll take it off right what have we got here basic drawer right basic drawer again trap chest don't forget you've got to do a chest and then make yourself a hook we'll make you one of these these have quite a good storage in them um, I think these hold 2049 of the same item in it uh, this here is a stone barrel. This is what you're going to have your lava um, pumped into from your barrel. And here is the barrel. It's not two of each. It's because I knew I was going to make two of these. So it's only one of each of these. Cauldron is probably going to be the, the hardest thing or the most expensive thing to make. Because this is only six ingots. The pressure plate is going to cost quite a bit as well. Um, so you know, six, it's all going to cost a yeah, six, six, six well, not when you consider what how we got it. Six iron ingots, <laughs> two pressure plates, and one cauldron will make you your barrel. Now, I've already thrown all the stuff in here. So if I take all this out, with all the other rubbish I've already got in here, right, I'm going to have to start off with that first. So what you do is you place down your do place down your copperstone generator. Now you want him to feed your where's my crucible? There they are. Your two crucibles. So if you stick your crucible down, you can put one there and one there, for instance. And then on top of this, you want to put down. Let's put it on sideways that on there so that will start collecting your cobblestone from your cobblestone generator straight away so every second it's picking up one. now to get those items out of there you're going to need one of your item transfer nodes now I will tell you now do not shift click if you click normally oh no it's not with these ones no forget that I'm talking about something else ignore me <laughs> right, now we need the pipe 
Yeah, what a day I'm having. Oh, hang on. Josh, have you got your um, pickaxe? Can you break up underneath there so I can stick... Can you, can you stick those two lava, lavas underneath it for me? Yeah. Because I keep forgetting to do that. Thank you very much. Super. There you go, Scott. Now what you do is you... Oh, put that on there. Put another one on there. And then pull that round to this side. And then that one round to this side. And now what this will do now is this makes your cobblestone, stores it in the chest. This uh, transfer node will take it out the chest and put it inside here. So now it's automatically making you lava. So you've not got to do anything. But you want your lava being pulled out of there and stored somewhere else. And this is where this oil drum comes in place. So place your oil drum down. Get this here. And if we put, come on now, put one on that side, and I think we can do this, one on that side, Damn. then bring a pipe across from them, go on, no we don't, you're going on there, this is what I was afraid of, so you pull this through to here, then one on there, and then one to there, come on, one to there. There we go. No, nope, don't want to do that either. Don't you want to use that thingy, but Yeah, I need to. I need to pick that up. I'll just borrow that for a second, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> just nick the point. Right. Sorry. You <laughs> thieving little. Tap this top one here. This one up here. I just I threw it back at you. Oh, did you? Oh yeah. Sorry, my bad. You can now demonstrate with us what this thing does. Come on, I want that off. Why doesn't it let me do it? I'm just going to break it instead. Because it's annoying me. No, what do you have to do? Don't you have to right click? Yeah, you're supposed to, but it's not letting me do it for some unknown reason. So I'll just do it a different way. So I'll just put one on there. Come on, one on there. Go on there. Come on. Shift it. Melt. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and I'm supposed to be the expert at this. I don't think so today. I think I've failed, failed hands down, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, you, you're not. Mr. Smarty over here is not doing very well. I didn't want that well. on now. Oh, I just hate when things just don't go right. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I think a couple of times. That one there, and I want that one right there. There we go. Now this should hopefully start filling with lava. Oh, dear. And then what I did on this, this is how it, how you make your lava. If you wanted to make um, uh, some obsidian, there is another way of doing it. And this is where I'm probably going to completely mess it up. <laughs> what? Uh, what? What happened? Wait, what, nothing. What? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can do this. If not, thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see, let's see then. Right then, so we're going why to need you, to put. Why do you even need this barrel, may I ask? Well, what it is, that will store it. The the original plan was to store it in there, and if I wanted it, I could pull it out from there. Okay. So if I do that, I'm hoping these will connect. That, that should connect to. Keep doing that. Should connect to here. Fills it with lava. Right, now then. <laughs> oh dear. I love my job right. so much. Right, I'm going to put that okay. there. I'm going to put that there. That there. I hope to God I've got enough of these. <laughs> that there. Now you can just take this corner one out here. Yeah, thank you. And then just yeah, yeah just put it in there. Either. I really thought this through well, didn't I? Okay, where am I putting these? Well, you need to have another one sitting right where I'm standing, right there. Up in the air. Thank you. Uh, uh. Thank you. Right. You know what? I think I've done this bit wrong. I really, <laughs> I really should practice what I'm going to do before I do it. But I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty certain that... 
if I can get up here and put that wall on top of there. <laughs> there we go. Well, should, what are you doing? I'm gonna go and uh... that should turn that to obsidian, and then if you put that on, <laughs> that on right, there, okay. get off. And then put okay, okay. That Just there. Have a look at it. That there. And it should store you. There we go. We got there eventually. <laughs> well, oh my. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you very well much. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well you. done. It's such a simple build. But I made it look so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it may look so complicated in your head. I, like, suppose, uh, I suppose in theory you could actually take it from there and put it straight into this. But I, I put it through a barrel because I had two. I had one going to one side which just had nothing but lava in it. And I was using that for my Tinkerous Construct. And I had another one coming this side which I had this in it which was making my obsidian because we're going to need um, some pulverized obsidian with some of the ingots we have to make so this will be handy because you don't want to be putting a load of water down and then placing um, a lava in it and then having to mine your obsidian up this just does it all for you um, and if you can hear that in the background that's a ghast yes we have made a hell biome all the way down here let me just quickly show you my oh, yeah, chickens please. So I'm not going. I'm not going down the room down there because I should die in a second. Um, yeah, this way for back. hell, you have been warned. We made the hell biome down there by making the um, items you need to make your hell biome. Put various machines down and put um, sand and blaze rods and you pushing me. <laughs> uh, <blaze rods. laughs> in there. Uh, we, we tried so many times it's taken us two days to work out what we've got to do we, we finally found it we'll show you that as well so don't worry but yeah I hope you enjoyed that I hope this video hasn't gone too long which means loads and loads of editing but um, yeah I did make this look really really hard and intricate trust me it's not just look at the basic bit and go why did he do it like that he could have done it this way but this is how I done it see I even put this on top here I didn't need to because it comes out the side there. What a wally. Oh well, never mind. So anyway, I hope Billy, Billy. I hope some of this helps you. We have um, we have taken this even further by making these uh, bigger and better. Not so much this. We basically left that before, and also that one there. Oh, you yeah, didn't come back over, did we? Look, there you go. Which water? Uh, See, I'm not crazy. And the, the Muslim spread, and you get mushrooms from it as well. Which if you're doing your farming or you're making the chickens and cows down there where you need these types of things then there you go. We've got our sap just over there that there's ours. Making two two lots of soul sand as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um the next I'm not too sure I'll be doing in the next tutorial, but um I'm pretty certain we'll bring something of value. If not, it'll be uh, as funny as hell watching me trying to build stuff and making a right prat of myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a very good time. And uh, say bye, Josh. It's in a bit. In a bit, yeah. yeah. Don't stress yourself out too much. You know, you might actually break a sweat. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.